Hey, hello guys, welcome. It's your weekly dose of Ariana Nazo. And today, guys, we'll be talking about types of people to avoid if you want to be in a healthy relationship. Anyway, this video is particularly for my gender, we guys. Or well, that was for both five, but basically for my gender because ah guys, I won't lie, we fuck up sometimes. <laughs> There are some things that we just do and it looks like we are not even thinking so without further ado let's cut to the points on people to avoid if you want a healthy relationship number one persons who are still glued to their pasts yeah i know a lot of people will say well as they say some people who say that the past doesn't matter like it doesn't make any sense but i believe it matters particularly for me i believe it matters because what happens when it comes back to haunt you in the future and i'm not saying that some people maybe for the time being maybe a trauma or anything they don't want to talk about their past i get that but not for a partner who just sort of blacks you out of her life or her past that you don't know anything about it because it won't make for a healthy relationship because that means you don't know what has happened if something along the line probably presents itself in your current relationship you might get to lose your trust for that partner i think i don't know wait i don't understand when you say people that are glued, glued to, to their, their past, past yeah that means their past that is affecting every decision they're making no? uh -huh. it's affecting decision they're making and they are not letting you in on it there are people that the past affects their decision but they won't tell you anything and they leave you in this place, you have to play Sherlock Holmes, like you have to start figuring out, and that doesn't help for your relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have to make you start figuring out, and most of the time, you start making assumptions. Well, it might be right, it might be wrong, but at the end of the day, people who to their past don't help for a healthy relationship because you're not opening up to your partner, your partner doesn't know what's going on, it just puts them in this state of they have to basically just assume and think. And not everybody has the patience to do that. Some persons might say, okay, yes, they are going to stay put, and other persons will just, but it's only a matter of time before they get sick and tired of it. So, partners that are good to their past, it doesn't help for a healthy relationship. Number two, the unsure. These are people that tell you stuff like, well, let's see how it goes. Let's, like, as we go, we know what's up. They are clearly unsure about what they want or what they want from you. Maybe they have an ex who is still chatting them or they have someone they like and then you are in the picture and they are literally unsure about anything that has to do with you guys you are a part as a guy or as a girl you might want something serious from that person but the person is all about and um, i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know it makes you feel like you don't know where you stand mm -hmm. yeah i've been there i think i've been there before and that's one thing i hate you not know, where i stand so they maybe it makes you feel like i don't you don't know where you stand with this person and when in sort of you don't know where you stand you can't even commit like be you and commit yourself because you don't even know if you're fooling yourself and wasting your time or if you're actually this person is actually down for you so once a person is unsure you can't have something healthy with that person because, i think these are the types like these situations situations are yeah. called situations right? yeah and mostly situations like you don't know whether you guys are going to be together you don't mm -hmm. know because the person has something that is holding the person back so it's just a very weird Situation. situation. <laughs> they ignore question. To me, I see that's a red flag. Once a person is unsure about you, about what they want from you, it's a red flag for me. Because, uh, I can't imagine myself in that situation because I hate it particularly. So, be unsure. There's no point being with them. Just probably move on or at least wait till you know that they are sure about what they want and they actually say it to you, not tell you that okay, let's go with the flow. Or let's just keep seeing how it goes. Be sure that okay, this is what this person wants. Let their words match their actions, and then you can know what you're actually getting yourself into. So basically, if you're the type that likes labels, mm -hmm. you want to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. The person should let you know if you're going to be boyfriend and yes. girlfriend. If he's what side chick, I be mean, what they call this yeah, yeah, sneaky her. links. Let's let the person so that know. you are not like in a state of limbo, mm -hmm. basically, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. And you're your part. Say what you want say what you want to the person but what if you said mm -hmm. what you want and that person is still acting unsure unsure then you have to leave because clearly that person will waste your time that's the truth if you're telling them okay this i want a serious committed relation the person is still 
acting one kind, one kind, then you leave because that it's hard, but you have to leave because that person it's sure that that person will waste your time. That person hasn't figured out what they want. So you're just there till they figure it out. And mm-hmm. most of the time when they figure it out, it's not you. So in this case of buy, you don't end up saying this person played you. The person didn't play you because the person clearly told you that I'm unsure. You knew the person didn't know what he or she wants. So why are you staying there? What are you staying there for? Are you this is not the like um, so proper that you have to say okay with time it's, it might be me no if the person is not sure the person is just try when you tell oh, the person what you want can I just say yeah I don't know if it's a clash with any, any other thing you want to say mm-hmm. like the person knows but the person doesn't want to let you go then the person should come out then you have, it's have what they, what they call bread crumbling I mean bread mm-hmm. crumbling mm-hmm. all of those things that you know the person likes the attention that you give but yeah. de- definitely doesn't want to be in a relationship with you so the person will be giving you crumbs of attention yes so you'll be like oh my god okay this person mm-hmm. probably likes me but that person is sure that they don't want they don't. anything serious yeah it happened I'm, i think okay speaking for a guy i have guys who do that just like they're chatting with a girl now you give her this like she said you give her this attention like ah okay well you there's a kind of connection we have with a woman and she feels oh maybe something might come out of this mm-hmm. and then the next week you just ghost her and start giving her one word replies just go <laughs> just go because even if you want something serious come out and say it. you can't tell me you want something serious with me and you're not saying anything and you expect me to find out somehow it's either your words or your actions and for me personally i believe the words you it's not just saying it they have to do it you have to say that this person wants to be with you because the person is doing playing you like that you're wasting your time you are the one getting hurt clearly not the do you are yo. <laughs> Number four, number three, or oh, people who never accept their mistakes. Ah, there are lots of people in that, in that list. I think Let's my be honest, personally. all of us, we've been through that mm-hmm. phase where you be with somebody, or because of something, something, you just don't want to accept that you have made a mistake because it will hurt your pride, mm-hmm. or it will be, or it's not your character, or something mm-hmm. like that, especially all those egotistical mm-hmm. people. So I think everybody has gone through it. Mm, yeah, everybody has gone through it. I definitely but, have. Done, but, I don't want to admit my mistakes. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. But at the stage that, uh, at least as I'm older now, I know better. You get me? If I'm making a mistake, I know, okay, yeah, I did this. Uh, it's a mistake. Mm. I deal with it. But a person who just tell, like, they never admit. Like, there's no, you can never get there. Even when they, you know, like, clearly they are wrong, they start finding a way to, like, turn the whole thing around and make it look like you're accusing them wrongly there's no point you staying with is that not gaslighting person. yeah that's gaslighting too wow. that's actually gaslighting because they are never wrong you're always the one who is wrong so you shouldn't stay with such a person because you end up in, apart from you person hurting you might end up now sort of like questioning yourself it affects you mentally you might end up questioning yourself questioning your decisions questioning even conversations you have with that person and that doesn't help so it's better for you and for the person, it's better you just like to go your separate ways and just waste each other's time. So people who, are, who don't accept their mistakes say no, no. Yeah, I get everybody has done it, but at some point you have to know, okay, should I did wrong. Grown up, should, you yeah. should be able to accept your that, you know, you are wrong. Mm-hmm. Just be responsible yes. for your actions. Yeah. And then, of course, you are that That person is just never accepting. That person is not ready to grow up and you shouldn't be staying with that person now. Okay. Know your worth, kings and queens. Mm. Oh. Okay. And finally, number five, the self-obsessed. These ones are crazy about themselves. <laughs> like, really, really crazy about all they think about is themselves. You know, these people are actually easy to spot. But the thing is, most of the time, when we spot people like this, we actually have this. There's this tiny word that tells us mm, they will change. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. This one's like, how do I explain them now? They are all about themselves, their problems. When it comes to situations that have to do with you, that is your thing. Like, it's just you. That's Let me put one controversial name mm-hmm. of a person that I think is, what, what, what do you call it? Self self obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if, nobody should come from you. It's a proxy. Uh-huh. I think he's a self obsessed. Why? I was listening to some, I don't know if he's a, I, I can't remember who it was. Mm-hmm. But it was a famous person, one okay. of these famous people. And then they were talking about um, 
you know how there are some celebrities that you know they feel like they are gods especially male ones they feel mm. like they are god's gifts to women <laughs> like you should do everything you can for them yeah okay you should give them money mm -hmm. you should spend more on them that they will spend on you that's kind of and the person mentioned asap rocky mm. and then she last said i think it was she or he i can't remember the person was now talking about it like oh okay oh they had a conversation with somebody that had also been with him mm. and then it seemed like the guy was like you know he's so handsome of which ladies and gentlemen, I don't see the handsome men anything. But every so each is on okay, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder or, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But then the person was saying, um, I mean, he's like he's saying, No, I'm such a fine man, mm -hmm. I'm so good looking, you know, I'm so out there, you know, you should be lucky. You should be so lucky that I'm with you or I'm sleeping with you or something. And I'm just like, boy bye. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, people that do that will kill, like, not literally kill you, but they will kill your esteem. Because, like she said, they feel they are God's gift to men. Some days feel they are God's gift to women, and they're like, oh, there are other people there, and you're just, you're not the one for them. You're basically, like, an option out of their numerous options. So, if you're with a person and they're not making you feel like it is you, mm -hmm. then don't stay. I would say, don't stay. If they're not making you feel like it is you, your partner should make you feel like okay it is you and you not making you feel like oh uh, you're just here i mean if you i can it's like people, those kind of people that you break up with them today and then tomorrow you're finding out that they're, they're in a six month relationship <laughs> those are, they can, those oh, kind, the ones that they're already uh, getting married they're already getting married you. and you're in the relationship with them and then you find out on whatsapp or on instagram that this person is actually getting married so self-obsessed people you shouldn't be with them they are like calling they are narcissists in their own Right, because all they think about is themselves. When once issues come and it has to do with them, it becomes you guys have to do it. But once it has to do with you, they disappear. Like you can't find them there, and they just expect you to handle it themselves. They are just there when okay, you find everything is good. I'm here, but once something goes wrong with you, you're no longer in the picture. So that's it from us, guys. These are the four type of persons to avoid if you want a healthy relationship. Have other people kind of people please let us know in the comment section we'd love to hear from you guys and then if you're with someone like this we'd like to hear your experience and also or if you're you. a person like this if you're a person like this clearly you should change <laughs> you it's not even you should change tell us why you should change the way that you are why are you like so mm -hmm. you know <laughs> i would like to i'm genuinely curious mm -hmm. so that's it from up guys please like share subscribe and we'll see you in another video peace